everyone, my name is Ira and I've noticed and been asked pretty often uh, that artists struggle with backgrounds and they're not sure how to replace them or how to define a horizon line, etc. So today I'm going to make this process easier for you. So let's start with our raw render. Before we bring in anything to Photoshop, we need to save it with an alpha channel. For those of you who might not know, in 3D Max, an alpha channel is essentially a mask that defines which parts of your image are visible and which are transparent. So that makes it much simpler to place your render or to a new background in Photoshop without having to manually cut out all of the glass parts, the window parts, etc. So uh, when you click on saving your render you give your render a name then you need to choose a specific format two formats that are mostly used is and uh, have alpha channel is tiff or png so i usually stick to png if it's a fast render if client needs i just stick to tiff basically it's up to you but both of them have an alpha channel then what do you need? You click save and here in configuration, you need to tick on an alpha channel. This is supposed to be on, same, same in TIFF. And you click OK. Done. Your and our work in 3ds Max finished. We saved our render. Then we need to go to Photoshop. In Photoshop, you, when you will open your render with an alpha channel, you will see that your background basically your glass, in my case, uh, transparent now. So what you will need to do, you will need to place the background image under your main layer. Just make it quick as example. I'll just drag and drop my photo and we'll put it down and we'll move it a little bit. But then some of you have struggles with the lightness level and horizon light because what you can do you can place your background too low you can place it too high so you'll ask me okay so how can i know where's my horizon line easy what you need to do you will create a new layer and you will choose the line what you need to do you need to follow all of your lines i'll just follow a couple of them one two three let's take something from the sofa here four if you want to be extra sure you can follow some more lines but basically i already see the intersection point so your point where your lines intersect this is your horizontal line. So what I will do, I will use additional guideline to see this horizontal line. Then I can just delete or hide. It's up to you, all of the lines that you've created. But don't forget, create them on the separate layer, not the layer with your render. Then what you can do, you go back to your background, you control T, just transform it. And you move your, uh, let's find something better, maybe a little bigger. Mm -hmm. So you just need to match your horizon line to your horizon of your photo. After you found that horizontal line what's left to do uh, now our background is too dark for interior lighting remember guys your background cannot be darker than your interior light of course it's if it's not the evening or night we talk about the daytime as we do now what i will need to do i want to brighten it up a little bit so i can use curves i can use levels i can use exposure it's up to you uh, let me use levels, for example, to start. And I'll just brighten up the midpoint of my levels. Can also brighten up a little bit of my highlights. Basically, you're done. 
Uh, what also you can do if you don't want your background to gain lots of attention, if you want it to be very, very subtle and barely noticeable, uh, you can. You can create a white layer, like solid color layer, and just reduce the opacity of your background. If you don't want it to be that contrast, etc. But again, don't go too much because this, it can still be if it will be very foggy or something rainy, foggy. Of course, it can be, but usually not that dramatically. Uh, maybe 70 would be enough. And you're done. And why we used alpha? Once again, if I let me make a copy of the background. And if I have my dark layer, black layer, I will st still see some of reflections. As you see, your alpha channel, if you have a glass, of course, that will save your reflections. So that's why we need it. And then all you have to do is to export your image in JPEG or PNG or whatever, any format that you want to. Save. And let's see what we have in the end. This is our raw render with alpha channel, glass and reflection. And this is our render but with the background. Before and after. Quickly, easy and less struggles. I hope that helped you. Enjoy and see you next time.